Welcome to Lisbon, Portugal. We are on our way to St. George's Castle. Lisbon isn't ideal for walking because there's hills everywhere. The ground is also cobblestone, so it's kind of bumpy. We decided not to hop on the tram because we wanted to stop for something to eat first. You can definitely take the tram up to the castle if you wanted to. We stopped into a local grocery store with a variety of takeout items to try. We have some traditional Portuguese food. This is a chorizo roll. This is an empanada with meat in it. This is Napolitan. This is coffee. This is homemade potato chips. This is a tuna sauce. Not tuna, tuna sandwich. This is a chocolate croissant and then another cheese. This is another traditional Portuguese fish. In this grocery store, we found a display of bacalhau. It is cod that's been salted and dried. Sorry, but we didn't try this one. Lisbon is a seaside town, and fish is an important staple in their diet. The prices here are in euros. The euro is worth a little more than the US dollar. After lunch, it was time to continue our walk up to the castle. When walking, there are many interesting things to see in the city, including the artwork underneath your feet. Lisbon is known for the mosaic artwork all over the ground. The small vehicle right there is called a tuk-tuk. It's kind of like a taxi. Even though we could have taken a transportation option, we decided to walk up to the castle anyways. We started to get tired as we got close to the top of the hill, but we were almost there. We made it to the top! St. George's Castle was built in the 11th century and there was lots to see. The castle was built by the Moors before the Portuguese took it over. After we entered the castle, one of the first things we saw was a statue of King Alfonso. He was the first king of Portugal. Another thing that catches your eye is the beautiful views of the city. The view was incredible. We could see for miles. It was interesting to see different pieces of the castle, like this water basin. It was used to catch rainwater for the people to use and this table and chairs that people have used for hundreds of years. The canyons are a reminder of the original purpose of the castle. The castle was built to house military troops to protect the city from siege. were actually destroyed during an earthquake in 1755. After the earthquake, the castle was restored and turned into a national monument. Look, 
You can even see where the moat surrounded the castle at one time. This bridge was once used to cross over the water. fun parts was climbing up to the top of this castle. We were really high up and it was a little scary at times. This right here is an old well that was used as a water source in the castle. The castle was absolutely beautiful. After the castle, we stopped into the church next door. Then we took a bus back to our hotel. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and like this video. We'll see you next time.